Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Most recently, um, I'd say probably November-ish in 2025, Docker released a new version. I think it's version 29. Don't quote me on that. Um, you know, and it installs, you know, like you put it on Ubuntu or whatever. Well, the issue is Casa OS now no longer works correctly. So let me show you real quick the error that I'm getting and I'm going to show you how to fix it because most likely you are also having the same issue I'm having. So we'll go ahead and go over to Casa OS and let's copy the, the bash file there. I'm over here on my server. I'm SSH'd in. I'm going to go paste that in there and I'll hit enter. Everything's looking good looking fine. We're installing a dependencies, which is Docker and we get this error right here this uh, 2407 not found amongst a pat or um, the cache Madison results. So we're stuck. We cannot install Casa OS after um, upgrading everything on our, you know, server here to use Casa OS. Let me explain real quick why we're having this issue. So Docker upgraded to a new version. Casa OS doesn't know to look for that version. And so that's why we're getting all aired out. So what we're going to do is we need to tell Casa OS it's okay and look for the newest version of um, Docker. So let's go ahead and set those commands up here. The first thing we do and the easiest thing is to just install Docker before we install Casa OS. So I'm going to go ahead and um, install Docker here with this command. And I'll put the commands in the description below um, so you don't have to remember all of this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I should get Docker, you know, go and install there. Then we're going to do the next command, which is going to be a sh get Docker sh. It's going to go get Docker and get it installed. And this is running um, specifically on a Raspberry Pi. I'm running um, Trixie. And I did all this with the Raspberry Pi Imager 2.0. So this is all, you know, newer, new stuff. And you can see here, Docker is now installed, um, which is what we want. And the next thing we can do is just try installing Casa OS again. So we will go ahead and I'm going to clear this out. And let me paste in that command again. You can see this time it no longer is looking for Docker because it knows it's already there. And we're installing additional packages that we didn't get before because it was stuck on trying to um, find Docker. You can see now Casa OS is officially installed. So we got by that error. And let's go ahead and log into you know our server and see if everything is working. So you can see on the screen there, you just go to your IP address, whatever it is. And you can see, here we go. We are now in our Casa OS, but we have another error here. You see where it says failed to load apps popping up here at the top. And we have nothing here when it comes to our um, icons, you know, for, for Docker. And that's because the UI doesn't quite know what to do. So there's another step we need to do. So the first step is how to install Casa OS. Now I'm going to show you how to fix this error message because obviously that's not what we want. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to open up a terminal session because we have to do this all in the background. You have a couple ways you can do this. You could either click up at the top left where it says terminal and logs. You can log into the terminal here. I'm not going to do it this way. I've got my terminal session here. Um, Program's called Tabby, and I'm just remoted into, you know, my machine here. The first thing we need to do is create a directory. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this in here. You don't have to remember it. Uh, put the information in the description for you, but we're creating a, um, a directory and a file there. And then we're going to go ahead and create a configuration file that is inside of that directory is created. So I'll paste that in there. And this is what we need to do. We need to add some information about the environment that, you know, it should be looking for. So what I got here, 
service and then environment docker min api version 1.43 again i'll put it in the description below we'll go ahead and save that control x y enter we'll clear that out there and now we need to reload the daemon so i'm going to go sudo systemctl daemon All right, now we need to restart the Docker service. So sudo system ctl restart Docker. Cool. And now what I want to do is I want to make sure the changes are reflected. So I'm going to put this um, command in where we can search the file. And you can see here it is reflected our minimum um, version is 1.4 or our, you know, our environment variable here tell it to look for, you know, Docker, the API version 1.43. Now what I'm going to do is just to be sure, I'm going to go ahead and restart the machine and then we'll check out Casa OS and see if it's updated. Okay. Our machine is restarted. I'm going to go ahead and log in. We are logged in and we no longer have the error popping up above. We now actually see our store icons. We are set. We just resolved that issue. And like I said, it's because Casa OS, you know, hasn't been updated in quite a while. So it just doesn't know, you know, what to look for with the, the new version of Docker. So um, again, all of the stuff, all the commands are in the description below. If you already had Casa OS installed, do the last part of this video. The beginning part of the video is installing Casa OS from scratch and then doing this, you know, this change. So um, this video should cover, you know, most everything for you. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. This is a, uh, a big change and I love Casa OS. So it's glad you know, I'm glad that we're able to find a, a solution and continue working on this. I appreciate all your support. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel as we continue to grow. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep doing good.